What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and welcome to a very nice and unique property where we are gonna spend the weekend. I'm quite excited to stay here, I'm not gonna lie. So we are here to relax a little bit and then we're gonna ramp it up quite a bit as we yep. start our training for Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, you heard that right. We're committed now, we have to, <laughs> we have to follow through. <laughs> okay, so let me show you around. Want to drink some coffee? And look at this super cute little mug that's here. And I had to use it because it's too cute not to use. Yeah. Okay, coffee and tour time. Come on. Okay, so you would never guess where we are. We have a safari tent. But are we in the Masamara? Are we in Savo? Are we in Amboseli? Who knows? Actually, just, just wait till the end of the tour, then you'll find out. <laughs> but let me show you around. So you start and you have the entrance kind of comes in to the veranda area of the tent. And there's so much seating areas. And I'm sorry, but like the host here, Carol, she is amazing. She even has some flowers everywhere for us. You're gonna see more, come inside. So inside honestly looks exactly like a tent you would find in the Mara. Who knows, we might be there, don't know yet. Then we have a desk over here with a lot of like, Kind of what you'll find that type of thing and there's catering here more on that later two chairs to sit our bed with mosquito nets then you come around this side you have your luggage area we've got a couple robes there keep coming into the bathroom so it is a tent but at the same time there's built structure inside um so you have a toilet there and your shower there and it really doesn't feel like you're in a tent in the bathroom at least okay so now you have another structure beside it and it, guys, like it's the size of the kitchen is bigger than our kitchen we would have back in Canada. It's crazy. So you have basically a full kitchen tent area. So it's a little bit like disconnected from the other tent. Full fridge, everything you would ever need. Pro tip, which I love that she has. She has a little bit of spices here and she says, you know what? She always keeps a little bit of food in the fridge on hand when people show up because like you don't know if they're coming from an airport or where they're coming from. So there's even like a little bit of eggs, milk and bread, your necessities, and even a full washer dryer there too. Like, it's crazy. Coffee, I know I'm forgetting stuff, but I'll get more on the food situation later, like I said. Now we're not done yet. So then you come around here and actually to access it, you just go around the kitchen. Um, but kind of to show you, there's even a little lounge area here and we opted to put the mosquito net down just because it's been raining a little bit. And inside you're gonna see tonight, but there's little twinkle lights up above on it. So it's a great chilling area. Probably maybe do sun down there. And then you come around the corner. I have a massive like two person hammock it looks like. Crazy. Oh, one more thing that's super cool. In the back is their vegetable and fruit garden. Um, they try and keep it stocked pretty much all the time. I see some tree tomatoes down there actually. Uh, so when you stay here, you actually have access to that and you're allowed to pick your food, whatever you want. So also there is a fence all the way around your tent. And depending if you like animals or not, it may come in handy, you may not want it. Who knows? They have dogs and not like one dog they have actually five of those dogs they're massive they're very nice very soft and fluffy they're actually breeders so if you're ever looking for a dog you can get one here here's another one but she's a little shy she's very nice though but a little shy that's fine come here yes no no don't be shy don't be shy okay slowly <laughs> They told us she's the shy one she wants to but not yet there's three other ones though and just like i say every time we go to an airbnb where there's dog if you don't want them around your tent around your room or airbnb or whatever they won't come the owners are really good they're all around us because i love dogs that that's the only reason why 
and the owner is so nice that she gives you access to her basement where there's actually a mini gym which I've never seen before in this kind of little properties or Airbnbs like that that you can rent for a weekend so that's very cool so you've got some barbell dumbbell little punching bag there incline and a bunch of mirror to look at yourself work out real hard okay whoa 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 you probably wonder where we're at but we're gonna tell you Okay, so this place is actually just in Ngong. Like, just right by Nairobi. We're still in town and it does not feel like it. So we're back at the main entrance and there's a few features we want to show you around the property. Um, the owner has it done beautifully Wonderful. and yeah. she is fantastic. Yeah. Like, it really it feels like we're in like a park. So many flowers, yeah. so many little bench area where you can sit and relax. Beautiful. Yeah, the landscape is like 10 out of 10. I don't know who the gardener is, but Good job. shout out to you. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. So this is one of the many seating options. And look, it's so cool. I want an elephant. <laughs> and even your table's an elephant. I like it. So this is where the six dogs are living. And if you pay attention, this has the same design as the main house. So that's pretty cool. And seating area number two. And you even have an option of eating here for your meals. You can do breakfast or supper, whatever you want. Okay, so those last two, they're actually all along the path that goes to the tent. And as you can see behind me, there's even bikes. And there's jogging trails around. There's definitely lots to do here, that's for sure. So let's go back to our our little abode. I picked you something. <laughs> Let's see if they're any good. Mmm, that's as fresh as it gets. They're so good. So earlier when I was saying that we'll talk about the food later, this is later, this is food, um, a really cool feature that I really enjoy here is they offer a catering service. So through Line Catering, um, we are able to get some meals and I'm really excited to try them. So each meal is like two portions in it. So tonight we're gonna have Thai chicken curry with chapatis. Chapatis, chapatis. So this one's ready made, I just have to heat it up. But what we have for tomorrow night too are like chicken skewers and oh, we have a fruit crumble for dessert. Forgot about that. Um, and you can even get like bottles of wine and everything fruit there. So stay tuned towards the video, you're gonna see some food. And that's through the catering service. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know how bad Tracy is at <laughs> opening <laughs> bottles of wine. But this is behind us. Show what you got. My parents got us an electronic wine opener, so. But the cool part about it too though, is it has its own aerator you put in the bottle for red wine and stoppers for after, so like, but, it's cool. But the important thing is that Tracy's not gonna, br <laughs> it's not gonna break corks into the bottles anymore. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> and then apparently if you go like this, <laughs> Where was this my whole life? <laughs> that was made for Tracy. Yes. Got the wine. Okay, so we're gonna sit on those uh, fat boy, because yeah, that's that's the brand of the those uh, little bean bags, and eat this beautiful food. It looks it looks very good, and I'm excited about the chapatis, obviously. Okay, so another cool feature, when you're in this like umbrella area, we asked them to put the mosquito net, but you get lights. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> that was a delicious supper. I can't wait to eat more of their food tomorrow. But now we're gonna actually do a live. If you didn't join for a live, well, you're missing out, but I'm gonna link it down below just in case. So we're all set up for our live. We have our wine and we even have a Jaco. New word that I just learned what it was. Didn't know what it was. And it's a frog. I like it. So 
that was a great live, great way to end up our night. Now we're gonna go to bed. Tomorrow we have another little relaxing day, but a few things planned that are gonna be relaxing, but very nice, before Kelly training on Sunday. I already know I'm gonna sleep great. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's like chilly, and the bed is actually very comfy too. Good okay, night. see you in the morning. <laughs> Guys, 8.30. I can't remember the last time that you <laughs> have been in bed until 8.30. Weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. You feel better? Yeah, I feel Good. energized. And now I'm very hungry for breakfast. <laughs> I'm excited to get some coffee going. And actually just chill. Like, we don't have to do anything right away. I can sit and enjoy yeah. my coffee with you. But we're going somewhere at 11. Yeah, but it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, let's go eat. So when we arrived yesterday, they made us some fresh juice, pineapple and mint or something like that. And it's so good. Anyway, we're gonna eat breakfast. Are you guys ready for a little breakfast montage with that same song as usual? Avocado, salsa, hot sauce, cheese. That's pretty much it on a chapati. If you've never tried that for breakfast, this is the true breakfast of champion. So this property is actually very, very big. And if you go down the same road that we arrived, there's actually uh, another piece of land that is also theirs. And there's a river there. So we're gonna go check that out and maybe have a little picnic or something like that that they prepared for us. So let's go see. Good morning. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Guys. <laughs> oh man. So we knew that we were gonna have a picnic today down by the river and I just thought, okay, picnic, whatever. Um, cause last night they're also like, if there's anything you want brought down, like just bring it with you. So I'm like, okay, maybe we'll bring some snacks or something. Good thing we didn't. Yeah. <laughs> cause I asked Mike up top, I was like, Hey, should I bring the pitas and stuff? And he's like, I, I think you're fine. <laughs> so sure enough, we come down. It is the cutest, most beautiful picnic setup. Like it's something that I always dreamed of doing. I feel like I'm in a movie, like a romantic yes. movie. Like it, yes. it, it's so beautiful that it looks fake. It's all real food. I love it. It's really, My really nice. My day is made. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Girl, I know what's me. I need somebody to love. Oh. Na, 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, and we even have a friend. And just like that, she's gone. I'm all the way there. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So we have a little bit of everything, some bread obviously, a lot of beautiful and delicious fruits, uh, some cheeses, some charcuterie, some honey, like there's so much on this plate, like we're never gonna eat all of that. It's like my heaven, like picnic with cheese and charcuteries and dips and breads. Yeah, again, looks, looks like a little romantic movie. Guys, this is like perfect. It's so relaxing. I don't even remember the last time we did something relaxing like this. Especially you. It's really hard to get you to relax, but like you actually are this weekend. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. So nice. Yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> And one thing with this picnic, they really did think about everything. They even have a bathroom. I know, I'm going in the bushes and it's not just a bush. There's an actual toilet back here. That was so fun and relaxing. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel <laughs> rejuvenated. I honestly, when we came down, I thought we had only spent like a couple hours. It's been five hours, guys. Yeah. It's now four o'clock. It, it was great. We ate, we talked, we cuddled, it was great. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we're gonna just uh, bring this orange juice back because this is like the best orange juice ever and it's gonna so be delicious good. for breakfast tomorrow. So good. Hi. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. If you're wondering why I'm so popular and all the dogs are following me, it's because uh, I have the treats, that's why. 
<laughs> Hi guys! Hi! I just gave them a full bag of treats and now they live in front of our gate because we're, we're best friends now. Now I'm the, I'm the treat guy. Trace, we just got some fresh sugar cane. Would you like a piece? Oh, cool. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. And guys, these sugar canes are as fresh as it gets because they're coming from right there. So for supper tonight, same thing from Lime Catering. Um, we have a veggie tray with some pitas, some hummus. There's some olives and stuff in there too. Um, we have chicken tikka skewers and carrot ginger soup. And the sizzling you hear is more skewers than there because it was a really big bag. I'm excited. Looks good. And of course, we still have our friend Jaiko right there to keep us warm. Ready. And to finish our day full of food, little food our crumble. Food. Yeah, so this, again, catering company, which I think is cool. It's gonna be really hot. We're gonna have to wait. Like it's steaming. <laughs> steaming. Okay, we'll, we'll wait. So there's a bunch of different fruit. Like there's mango, pineapple, apple, rhubarb. I think that's it. Very good. Guys, I agree. It's a very good dessert. Just miss some vanilla ice cream. I'll put vanilla ice cream Ooh, with that. That yeah. would be so good. Yeah. Just a suggestion. <laughs> So guys, I think the storm is coming, so that's our cue to go to bed. So we just finished breakfast, which was delicious mm -hmm. as always. About this place. Thank you so much to Travelways and Orbiter Bureau to, well, for organizing this for us. It was yeah. a lovely weekend. We relaxed. It was, oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> so something that we actually didn't show because for one, it's a little warm. For two, we're pretty self-sufficient. Um, this place actually comes with like a turndown service. Yeah. So Mike is always around and basically he can come do your turndown service. Um, the sugar canes. <laughs> yeah, like literally, it's almost a service Airbnb, yeah. almost. Yeah. So that's something that's super cool and kind of unique about this place as well, because you don't always get that. Mm -hmm. um, I overpacked on food because we had a lot of food. Yeah, that's very true. Because <laughs> it comes with also catering if you want. Yeah. And I I suggested because it's, it's, it's trouble really free food. and it's delicious. Everything yeah. was really, really good. So anyway, um, now it is time for us to start our Kilimanjaro training at Ngong Hill. See you in the next one. <laughs> Guys, I think the storm is coming. Ah, the light. Work light. Oh, well, guys, I think the storm is coming. So that's our cue to go to bed. Stop doing this. As always. <laughs> you scratched my hand. I know, I'm not Let's using do this long again. <laughs> Bloopers.